coming up is our top seven raw thoughts on my green adjustments inspired by Ed Begley Jr. Yay! We had Ed on the show last week. He's so great. We laughed so hard. Um, yeah, it was slightly devastating. It was very devastating to me, actually, that we lost it. But you know what? Such as it goes. He said my kale was the best kale he ever had. What? So we'll have him back on the show. I look forward to that. But since we had him on the show, I can't stop changing things about my daily habits because he really inspires um, the eco warrior in me. So I hope he does for you too. I know he does for you too. So, all right, top seven thoughts on my green adjustments inspired by Ed Bagley Jr. Number seven, hot water bottle to bed. Yeah, I have this fuzzy, cozy, faux sheep water bottle that everyone's like, oh, that's so cuddly. My husband calls it my dog, you know, he's like, oh, you can it. So my husband travels a lot and he's out of town at night and it's freezing when he's not home. So I always put the heater on. And since I talked to Ed last week, I'm like, oh, I can just take my hot water bottle to bed, snuggle with it, and I don't have to turn the heat on and use electricity. Never thought of that before. So thanks, Ed. I'm doing that. It's nice. Um, number six, calculate your carbon footprint. Ed told us about TerraPass. You can go to terrapass.com. It's T-E-R-R-A pass.com and calculate your carbon footprint. Mine for driving is 9,222. What is it? What is the thing? Oh, it's, oh my God, 9,322 pounds of CO2 a year I put in the atmosphere driving my Audi. That's 12,000 miles a year. My lease on my car is up in April and my husband's like, you got to get an electric car. You got to get a hybrid. And I'm like, oh, they're not really that sexy yet, you know? But who cares? That inspired me. Who cares? Yeah, I can't Give me an wait. electric. I'm, I'm waiting on a biodiesel, like a classic Mercedes biodiesel. I would love to do that. Um, I, would, I love awesome. the G-Wagon. If I could I get love the G-Wagon and like wagon. total. You want the wagon too? I want the wagon. I it's want it Especially yellow. for what you do with like big bushes you're carrying. Yes. Running. I've never seen a yellow. Uh. I like the red. You get the yellow, I get the red. I okay. love it. <laughs> Very cool. But biodiesel, it's got to be biodiesel. I had no idea when I calculated that. I was very shocked because, but I, you know, I really don't drive very much. I live very locally. I walk everywhere, so I don't drive that much. But still, that brings me to my next one, number five. Walking isn't just for me. That's what he helped me understand. I walk everywhere because I love the walk. I, I love the sunshine. I love the oxygen. But I'm not just doing it for me. Actually, when I walk places, I am decreasing that carbon footprint. So I never thought about it that way. Number four, I'm monitoring my rollers. Ed tells a really funny story in his book, Living with Ed, and his show. It's so funny. Like him and his wife, Rochelle, have such a great dynamic. But he talks about how she like turns on her rollers and they turn themselves off after 20 minutes. Then she does it a couple times before she gets around to doing her hair. And I'm like, that's totally me. So now I'm turning on my rollers. Two, they only take two minutes to heat up, actually two minutes before I want to use them. Now I'm aware of it. So this is why we do this show. It's like we make you aware of something, ba pow, you end up you know, doing your part, which is great. All right, number three along the same lines, heating my tea kettle just once. I don't know why, but like I'll be writing, I'll make a tea, and I hear it steaming, and I'll, I'll turn it off, and then I'm like, oh, I just got to finish this thought, or I got to finish. Every and single Every time. single time, really? Me too. So we got to be more aware of that because we're just wasting energy. It's just inefficient to have to like reheat the thing again. Yeah. Inefficient. Be conscious, right? Be conscious. And you know what? I think when, when all of our tasks in our life are efficient tasks, we become incredibly successful. If the more tasks we do in life that are inefficient, even if it, what we're talking about is energy efficiency, everything is everything. You know, if we're being conscious of our energy use, then we're going to experience more energy in other ways. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Um, all right, <clears throat> number two, I bought Begley's Best cleaning products, Bristol Farms, loving them. To me, green cleaning products is, is essential because I have a gray water system. What goes in my sink goes in my garden, what goes in my bath, goes in my garden. So I need to have super clean um, cleaning products or my plants um, die and wilt. And I've bought products before that are 100% plant-derived, but plant-derived doesn't necessarily mean it's great. Like I said, white vinegar and baking soda, mm. you can't, there's nothing you can't clean in your house with that. So you just mix it? No, white no, vinegar. I mean, vinegar is great for any non-porous surface, streak-free glass cleaning, oh, countertops, really? granite, wood, floors. White vinegar is amazing. 
Good to know. And I would, for countertops, I would add a couple drops of our essential oil. Like yes. the lemongrass, yes. or the lavender, the geranium. Or anything that might be Maybe like, like antibacterial too, because you're just cleaning. It's not an antibacterial. But a lot of bacteria is good and our obsession with the antibacterial is kind of harmful. No yeah, it makes it, it grows super bugs. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right about that. And number one, I can't believe it. I am actually inspired to take quicker, cooler showers, if you can believe it. I am. Quicker, cooler showers. My husband's been telling me for years that cold water is better for my skin. He's like, those hot showers that you take, they're going to wrinkle you. Drying, I'll take like yeah. super hot showers for like 45 minutes. Me too. Because I'm just like, I need it. <laughs> my therapy. But now I'm taking like cold, quick showers. So, Ed, thanks for that.